Hi, welcome to a product test and review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test this high link AC to DC converter module. And we are going to test them with 120 volts, which is in North America and some other countries, and also with 240 volts input. And the outputs are 5 volts, 12 volts, 3.3 volts. These are 5 watt version. And also, I have a 5 volts, 3 watt version let's get started with this the modules have uh, input ac voltage rated from 100 to 240 volts which means they can work anywhere in the world either with 50 or 60 hertz ac the they've labeled them these two pins here at ac and then we have two pin uh, two pins for the DC and the BDC has been labeled here the negative V out and positive V out as simple as that and uh, as you can see here we have the 5 watt and then the 3 watt in terms of size they are a little different width of the module is 38.2 millimeters by 22.9 so this is 23 millimeters and the module itself is 18.2 millimeters this is a 5 watt uh, module and then for the small one for the 3 watt 20.2 millimeters the length is 33.4 millimeters and 15 millimeter is the height if you are interested in weight of the largest size one 24.7 grams and the 3 watt or a smaller one 17.6 grams let's open and see what is inside Okay, so even if I open it, they put glue here and all the components are glued together and we won't be able to see it. And here on the data sheet, as we can see, the operating uh, temperature is minus 20 degrees to 60, plus 60 degrees Celsius. And maximum input current in terms of AC is less than 0 0.2 ampere enter slow rate is less than 50 milliseconds and in terms of efficiency at 110 volts uh, output with full load is greater than 69 percent at 220 volts is greater than 70 percent and here the life expectancy of this one is uh, greater than 100,000 hours. I'll provide you the link in case if you need to read further about this. The specification is also mentioned here. I've soldered the AC wires to this and mm, put heat shrink so accidentally I do not touch AC at these points. Now let's check the resistance between input and output of this module and see how much resistance we are getting so I'm going to connect to one of the wires and come here infinity and then here open loop here let's go to the other AC pin so they're completely isolated Now I'm going to connect this 5 volts module to AC and here is a tiny voltmeter that I'm going to connect. Negative positive is on this side and negative is in here. And this is the AC. I'm connecting it to 110 volts. 
Now the AC has been connected and this is a 5 volt DC as per values shown here. Now this is connected to my electronic load via these two wires. And here is the voltage, the output from this is shown here. This is the electronic load DL3031. And these are the two terminals that from the circuit will be connected in here. And we will see the voltage here and the current. I'm going to set the power to 5 watts and turn it on. So one ampere is being drawn from this and the voltage is 35 volts and here is the power and in terms of resistance based on this as you can see now we are drawing a 5 watt from this I am unable to determine the efficiency of this device in terms of AC now I am testing this 5 volts 3 watt which gives about 0.6 ampere DC smaller version let's test it and the voltage here now I will connect it and you will see the voltage here let me show you the AC voltage I've connected the 222 volts AC so we are going for 0 0.6 ampere first let's go for constant current and here I will type 0 0.6 and enter and turn it on now we are at 0 0.6 volts and the voltage is dropped not 5 volts this is the maximum and the power shows 0. Point and the power shows 2.94 watts and, uh, let me increase it by 100 milliamp so that is 0. 0.7 ampere still holding but the voltage dropped and here after 30 minutes of test still stable and going now I've changed the input voltage of this 5 volts module to 240 volts. Let me show you. Two hundred and forty-five volts AC connected in here. Now we have five volts as the output. Let's go for three watts. 5 volts 0 0.6 amp okay let's go 3.2 watts and I'm gonna go 3.4 and 5 now exactly 1 ampere at 5 volts so this is actually 3 watts and we are getting 2 watts extra. I believe I don't need to go further because uh, well you should not go at this rating. 5.7 completely shut off. Now this is the 12 volts module. It has been connected now and we are getting 12 volts now let me connect it to the load this is a negative and positive these two wires are for my load and there is 5 and you will see the power here as you can see 0. Point, uh, at 5 watts it's just protecting it and the voltage is down so it doesn't work let me turn it to 4 watts even at 4 now it's protecting turn off 
so at 4 watt when I turn it on it works I'm changing it in here and you will read it a little larger there 4.1 4.2 still working 4.3 watts now 4.4 watts 4.5 at 0 0.366 as soon as I turn it 4.6 it doesn't work let me reduce it 4.5 once the protection kicks in you have to turn it off and turn it on again now it's at 4.5 watts 0 0.366 ampere so this device cannot handle 5 watts it doesn't matter at the moment it's 110 120 volts this the surface let me show you first actually it's 246 volts AC this is a the 12 volts module okay so we got 12 volts the load is connected but not turned on let's connect it with 5 watts And now it's 5 watts running and as you can see the current shows 0 0.4 ampere 5 watts at 12.3 volts the output 5.6 now five point seven watts 5.8 watts 5.9 as you can see the protection kicks in and the output is zero to protect it when you turn it off now let's go 5.6 so five point six is working with two hundred and 20 volts now it's 240 but 220 should be the same now here is a conclusion for all my tests for this high link ac to dc converter modules all of these modules can accept 110 up to 240 volts that i have tested and they can deliver the 5 watts with the exception of this this 12 volts it did not deliver 5 watts and it can go up to 4.7 watts safely but at 240 or 220 volts this can go even 2 watts extra so all of these modules can be um, used safely with the exception of this 12 volts and uh, you can use them also for Arduino for any other application with a the size they're very compact and um, I definitely recommend them uh, for applications that you have and I have no affiliation with this. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. And leave the notification on.